Oh, what's up everyone, it's Goose, and today I finally beat Baldur's Gate 3. Today we're gonna go over the Diesel VH4 models in both the HX Stomp and the Quad Cortex. The Diesel VH4 is most known for Tool, and, and I don't know anything about Tool. <laughs> But also James Hetfield, Matt Bellamy, Brent Hines, and uh, Miles Kennedy of uh, Alter Bridge also use the VH4. So yeah, today we're going to compare the model in the two units to see kind of what the differences are. Before we move on, if you like nerding out about guitar gear like me and a bunch of comparisons between the guitar gear, consider hitting like and subscribe. Alright, so as usual, we're going to be controlling everything around the amp block. So we're going to make sure we're using the same overdrive, the same IR and largely the same settings. The IR we're gonna be using is the Ownhammer Essentials Rectifier 412 uh, with the balanced mix. And then each unit is going to run their respective tube screamers in front. And both of the units model two channels on the VH4, the third and fourth channel, which I think are called the Mega and the Lead channel. The Mega channel will be focused on a more of a rock tone, and then the Lead channel is gonna be focused more on like metal, like lower tune stuff. And typically I don't run a drive for the rock tones, but for VH4, I actually just prefer having uh, overdrive on at all times in front of the amp. So for both comparisons, an overdrive will be on. The guitar I'll be using is this Kiesel Osiris with DiMarzio Illuminator in the bridge. Both models are gonna be running the same settings, except the presence. So on the HX Stomp, I'm gonna be running the presence lower than the setting on the Quad Cortex. And later on, I'll get to why I'm doing that, but just note that for this comparison, everything else will be running the same settings. As usual, I'll be doing some single notes and some easy chords and then getting into the actual riffs uh, during each comparison. All right, with that out of the way, let's start with the third channel of the VH4 with some kind of more rock oriented riffs. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in my opinion, the model on the Neural Quad Cortex has a little bit more base. It has um, a little bit more of a neck pickup feel to it. Uh, I do have that complaint about some of the amps on the Quad Cortex. Uh, even though you're on the bridge pickup, it still kind of has that neck pickup feel to it. But uh, it's actually a little bit satisfying too to dig into the strings with it. But I think the HX Stomp has a little bit more of a mid aggression to it. Um, that's kind of also typical. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that the HX Stomp either sounds a little bit more harsh on the top end or upper mids. And I think that definitely shows here. Um, however, uh, the HX Stomp does have the presence running lower. And the reason why I did that is because there's just no more headroom on the quad cortex. If I push the presence to 10, you're only going to get a little bit more of a high end bite. Whereas this is comfortably a little bit lower than that. So if you wanted to compensate, you can go in either direction on the quad cortex. You're going to only have one direction to go in basically. And I don't think either of them really do all that well in terms of note separation. So I've heard better like amp models that do that. I don't know that if it's just the amp model or the actual VH4 has that. I think believe the VH4 is supposed to be a very good amp for the note separation. So uh, I don't think either of these units do that any justice. All right, so we're going to be moving on to channel four, which is a more high gain channel. Uh, and so we're going to be doing some more uh, kind of lower tuned metal stuff on that channel in this comparison. So yeah, um, overdrive and everything is the same. Uh, the only thing, once again, is that presence is going to be slightly lower on the HX stomp. With that out of the way, let's go. All right, so for low tune stuff, I think the Helix is really tight here. And I actually really kind of like how it feels on the low end. Um, when you're going through like uh, extended range guitar, it just feels like it's holding the low end together. And generally speaking, I feel like the Neural is just a little mushy on the low end in that regard. Uh, you can lower the deep on the knob, um, but you kind of lose a little bit of feel, which is why I didn't do that. And once again, the presence is maxed out or nearly maxed out, it's at nine out of 10. And you really don't have that much room to push the high end on this unit. However, if it's already bright enough for your usage, I think this sounds great. 
Um, it's a little bit flubby for lower tunings, but if you're if you're in standard or even E flat standard, I think this sounds great. Like if you're doing some more like thrashy stuff, like some eighties thrash metal, I think this would be just fine for that, especially since you're not really going to be running into that mud until you get to lower tunings and the kind of thrashy stuff is usually tuned in. And the last thing I want to mention is that the HX stomp model is a little bit honky. Uh, you can definitely fix that in global EQ. I have a video about how to kind of match a quad cortexy feel with the HX stomp uh, just through the global EQ. But uh, as it stands, the amp models are a little bit honkier than the ones in the quad cortex. And that also shows in the diesel VH4 models. So yeah, in the end, I think both of these models sound pretty good uh, depending on what you're looking for. So like something that will cut through the mix, I think the HX stomp definitely does that a lot better. Um, but something that just fills the room, it's probably going to be the Quad Cortex because it just has a little bit more bass to it. And I think that will be satisfying for some folks as well to play with. And I think that the HX Stomp, however, does have... Uh, I actually really like the fourth channel of this, uh, the fourth channel of the VH4 on the HX Stomp because it's just so, like, tight, but still, like, there's still, like, a, um, a low-end grunt to it. Um, and I, I, I really did like it. Um, usually people go for channel three on the VH4. That's like the, the famous channel, but actually of all four amp models, I guess the two channel threes and the two channel fours, I like the channel four on the HX stomp the most. Um, and that's just my opinion. I think it just sounded really good and cutting through the mix. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, which of the models that you preferred, um, from these two units and yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Later.